hiszünk, hogy egy ilyen mi gondolatokat tartalmazó előadást mutathatunk be. Légy hálás a szenvedés nehézségért címmel, négy részből a harmadik rész, a mester és tanítványok közt adásában. Elhangzott angol, francia és olaki vietnámi nyelven 2012. április 7-én Franciaországban. Any more story? Yes. Yes. Um, Master, I don't want to bring more sadness to mm -hmm. the, the conversation, but maybe just to encourage the sister over here. Yeah. I lost my father nine years ago when he was murdered, but he was perfectly healthy. Oh my God. Yeah, and, and he was like really brutally murdered. And the one thing that I remember from that was oh. that I really, really wished that I'd spent more time with him. Yeah, when he was still alive. I loved him more Understand. when he was alive and phoned him more regularly and talked to him more regularly. Oh. I had a really good relationship with him. Yes. But it still after his death... Yes. I mean, it was really like I really felt I wish I'd done more. I understand. So I want to encourage the sister over here that she's one, she's lucky that her mother's still alive. Yes, yes. But also she still can mend it, still yeah. can change. That she can spend more time, more loving yes, thoughts yes. with her mother. Just that she can because she has to be in Canada to yeah. earn money yeah. first in order to bring her. Yeah. So you try to concentrate on that, huh? Meanwhile, write lovely letters, okay? Yeah, the letters are a nice idea. Letter would be nice. She yeah. will keep it. You will see, like treasure. Yes, because you are the only, only kid she has, only relative. Yes, the one who also know how what she has gone through. Also, you see, not just any anybody. Okay, mm, so I uh, try to be <laughs> more sacrifice. Okay, more sacrifice. If you could sacrifice, suppose somebody really suffering outside. You really want to to sacrifice something to help that person, you see? So do that for your mother, yes? Sacrifice, okay? Yes. Wow. Oh, it's, it's all karma. Hmm? All right. You, yeah, behind there, love. After all the sad stories, I think it would, I'm, I would be really glad to share some really great news. Okay. Um, which is that, I mean, both of my grandparents died of cancer. Oh. Uh, well, they went to heaven because of cancer. Um, but They did? Yeah. <laughs> um, but there are lots of studies coming through recently, especially that might be useful to the sister, um, like specially planned vegan diets. They yes, can reverse yes, yes. lots of cancers. But he already has one after the organs keep failing now. Oh, mm. well, for anyone else. Uh, does he interest in vegan? No. No? No. Okay. Vegetarian? No. Okay, I understand. Okay. He doesn't want it. He's almost like terminal already. It's 10 years. Yes. But I'm, I'm surprised he still lived 10 years with all this. I have seen last week a documentary. Uh, yes. Yes, they are studies about medicine. Medicine? Yes. For cancer? Yes. They can, through uh, fasting, eliminate cancer cells. Yes? Yes. Really? Through fasting. Even uh, yes. in terminal case? Yes, they destroy the cancer cells. Yeah, I know. But yes. I don't think he will listen. This is the thing. She tried to feed him. But it is a vegan. possibility to okay, tell him. Okay. destroy tell cancer. Him. Yes. Tell him. Where is it? In, um, in Russia. You know the address? In Russia. Ah, in okay. Russia, yes. Can he go there? They have, uh, there is a hospital and they cure the patient with fasting. They have a lot of, of experiments done and they can destroy cancer cells. Yes, 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 yes. maybe. Yes. Possible. Yes. If it's not so, uh, the whole body be healthy. Yes. yes? When it goes uh, yeah, yeah, but through fasting, under expert, no? right? And expert guidance. Yeah. Yes, sure. Yeah, sure, probably yes. some liquid. and a lot of terminal <laughs> yes, yeah. uh, patients really? uh, have Get help? Uh, lost um, pain. Have lost pain. pain even. Yes. Oh, and cure. Get cured. Yes, yes. Wow. Good idea. Come on. It it seems uh, that uh, fasting is uh, yeah it's dying of the cancer yes also yes he has no the, nothing to the whole live body. on okay yes. you want to talk it's, it's true. 
It's true, and you don't want to talk to your father, right? J'ai entendu à la radio. T'as entendu à la radio? Oui, j'ai entendu à la radio qu'ils avaient fait une découverte ah. qu'on pouvait. C'est vrai? Qu'on eh, qu pouvait, qu pouvait guérir du cancer en, en faisant des jeûnes. Pourquoi ne tout dire à son papa? Essayez ce truc, cette façon. Mais parce que ma, ma maman est très têtue. Et mon père aussi, il continuait à manger de la viande aussi, oh. à la maison. Oui, mais il va mourir, quoi. Bah, je me le demande, je me pose la question. Justement. Tu poses la question quand même, et tu je dis me que, demande si... ok, si, si ce cancer c'est parti, après tu peux continuer à manger de la viande. Et maintenant, quitter, aller à Russie, à la Russie. Essayez. Elle a même pas envie d'aller à Paris, alors bon, c'est... Alors, non, ok, mais bye, bye. Je pense qu'elle part du principe que c'est aussi émotionnel. C'est émotionnel. C'est-à-dire qu'elle a, elle a beaucoup souffert dans sa vie aussi. Ah, tant bien. Ah, quand, quand même. Okay, elle okay. explique ça aussi comme ça. Je donc, comprends. Euh, ok. Je lui ai fait lire des livres sur le, la nourriture végane. Ah, elle elle a pas. lu, mais... Elle comprend, mais elle a du mal à pratiquer. Quoi. He doesn't want it. Mother, father, both are very fixed in their problem. They've been suffering, and so they also don't want it. They just continue to eat meat, and they know they know all the things, but they don't want to go through. Okay. And then why are you crying? Yeah. Hmm? They have the right to choose to die or not. Yes, but it's me. Is you, huh? I cry. Because you don't want to lose your father, right? Okay, then you have to tell your father. Je sais, je sais. C'est pour ça qu'il faut que tu l'expliques que c'est pas pour lui, c'est pour toi. Hein? Priez de lui pour aller faire la course, pour toi. Hein? Non pas pour lui, pour toi, parce que tu veux pas euh, le perdre. Ok? Tu dis ça. Si ça marche. Ça marche, euh, tu dis que tu l'aimes trop, ok? Si, 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 si elle souffre, tu souffres plus. Euh, plus que lui, et si, si, si elle est morte, tu ne peux pas vivre, ok? Tu pries à lui, allez faire pour toi, ok? Please do it for me. I love you so much, I don't want to lose you. Just please and cry. Cry with him, not with me. Useless. Okay, anyone else? I'd say the father doesn't want to do it because they also go through a lot of suffering and they sung fu. <laughs> they don't want to do anything anymore. They don't care. So I say to her, go home and tell your father, beg him. I say, why is he crying? Because she says he's attached to her father. I say, of course not. Of course not. I say, so then you have to tell him that please go and cure yourself for, for me, I mean for her, because she d couldn't bear to lose him. She loves him so much, I have to tell him all this. And he probably would do it, because for her, understand? When sometimes you want to do it for other people, even you don't care about yourself, but when you see somebody else. So I tell her, go home and cry and tell him, don't tell me and don't cry with me. It's useless, yeah? You tell him the same, eh, what you tell me, okay? That you love him, you care about him, and you cannot bear losing him. That you cry a lot, a lot every day. Whether he see or not, you cry at home, you cry alone all the time because of him. So please do it for you. You capish? Okay. Tell him everything. Don't, don't just keep it yourself because he doesn't know you suffer. Maybe he doesn't realize that you care. He doesn't realize that his sickness affect you, see? You have to tell him. And you have to tell him in such a way that moves his heart. Like, you would rather have the cancer for him instead of him, or you don't want him to die because you love him so much, more than anything in the world. And so you cry a lot, a lot every day, and you suffer too much emotionally. So beg him, please do it for your sake. For your sake. And if he loves you, tell him, if, if he loves you, please do it for you. Okay. All right. Anyone else? Yes. Dạ kính thưa sư phụ, ba con cũng mới mất để 4 tháng cũng bệnh kinh sợ. Okay. Dạ. Nhưng mà mà bác sĩ nói là còn 3 tháng nữa trên mà con mới tin. Ừ. Con mới tin cho nên không có bỏ từ giờ. Ừ. 
Không có thì giờ mà thăm ổng Thế là chờ ổng đi ở Huế hận Không know. biết phải làm sao I Never mind, pray for him Ok Cầu nguyện cho ổng là xong Cũng có nằm bao thế Thế sư phụ Ok, dẫn đi rồi Thì thôi, đừng buồn <cười> Dạ, cảm ơn sư phụ Dear Master, I just want to uh, say how glad I'm here um, because um, previously I almost couldn't come here because I had all the patients scheduled to get treatments. Uh-huh. And um, You're a actually, doctor or some? I'm a doctor, a chiropractor, and oh. acupuncturist. Yes. And uh, but finally, I how you, you know, did it? Actually, my wife was here um, before you. Before okay. before I came, and yeah. she told me. She experienced so much love from Master, and she couldn't even even explain to me in words. And now I'm sitting here. I I know what she was talking about because you just show us a great living example how we can how we should show love to people around us. And um, but you do. You're a doctor. You cure people. And I do try my best. Uh-huh. But uh, today I have learned more lessons than I ever have in my life because you have done so many miracles in my life and uh, so many times when I was here previously I meant to say this but I never tried you know take too much time from others so today I want to say it because I uh, love you so much and I I owe you so many big thank you and today I want to say it okay um uh, you took care of my father um I echo to the sister who shared about her father My father's life was miserable, and uh, I left my country, um, went to United States by myself when I was 21, and uh, and really didn't do much for my father. And I know his life was miserable. So when he was in um, in the hospital and he was he was about to pass away, I and I couldn't even stay because I I had to work mm-hmm. in United States, and uh, yeah. so. Uh, but I, I knew that Master took care of my father, and I know he's in heaven. I, I know mm-hmm. you took care of yeah. him. But and, you uh, wish you could have done more, hey? Yes. Yeah. And uh, the other thing is, um, the other miracle that you have done for me is, even before I passed my board exam, when I was taking the board exam, um, I missed so many stations, you know, the practical exams. I missed so many stations. And there's no way I could have passed that. I knew you let me pass that for <laughs> exam. <laughs> Because many people say, <laughs> if you if you miss so many work stations, there's no way you pass. I said, you know, I'm, I'm just going to pray to my master. <laughs> And I did pass. Never mind. Don't don't say thank you. Just give me your license. <laughs> 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 And I do the work for you as well. Thank you so much. <laughs> And uh, another thing is my my dream has finally come true. Um, earlier I shared about um, we have a loving heart mm-hmm. um, in, in, in town. And um, previously I was working at three different locations and yeah. I was so busy with all the responsibilities. Yeah. I was overwhelmed. And uh, finally, uh, thanks to Master's Blessing, I opened a clinic upstairs of Loving Heart. Uh-huh. So whenever they call me, they say, hey, we need you. So I just go downstairs and see what's happening. <laughs> And so it's it, it's working out beautifully right now. I, I feel so much relaxed. And previously, I also want to uh, share this with everyone. Um, health is so important because um, actually just a few months ago, um, I I couldn't get out of my bed because with all the responsibilities. Um, Too tired? So Sick? I was just so burned out. Because uh-huh. one time I fainted, basically, um, in my backyard. I said, wow, you know, uh-huh. I never experienced this before. Mm. And um, and another time I couldn't get out of my bed. And mm. every time when I was in this situation, I always cry out to you. And uh, and then you help me out. I just thank Master for everything. Thank you so much I'm for sorry being you such a great so example hard. to us. Thank you. Sorry, you worked so hard. It's better now, isn't it? Yeah, much better. Thank you. Yeah, but don't overwork, okay? Yes, I'm much better now. Yeah, you help others, but you also need to relax yourself. Yes. I know that kind of feeling I had experience is hard. You just work, work, and you don't even realize how much you work until you sit down and you just collapse. That's it. That's what happened. Don't wait for that to happen again, okay? Sure. Even in loving hood or not, if... If it's really bad, one day just close it. And sorry, you know, due to 
<laughs> relaxation. <laughs> Please eat elsewhere or wait until tomorrow, we will serve you better. Something. Yeah. You know, the Spanish people, they have siesta all the yes, time. Yes. They are not very rich, but they have happy. happy. In, in Taiwan, we do that too. Taiwan uh, have siesta? I mean, uh, for like 12 to 1 or after lunch, we can have a nap for 30 minutes. Yeah? yeah. Okay. When well, I was there, but I don't know now. But <laughs> Oh, wow. The, 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 the Spanish, they do better than that. <laughs> From 12 to 3. <laughs> and sometimes they cross the 3, they put 5. Or, <laughs> or they don't put at all. <laughs> so you can just sit there, eh, waiting, waiting. How come they don't come? Then they don't come. Right. <laughs> well, if you cannot come, you cannot come. <laughs> yeah. And uh, in Spain, I had a taxi driver. He loved to drive me around, but when he's, he, he doesn't want to come, then he doesn't answer the phone. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no, I, I know about that. How you know? Because Spanish guys have done that too. <laughs> they just don't answer. Yeah, don't answer phone. And then he told me it's out of coverage. <laughs> But when his friend invite him for dinner together with us, oh, he can hear it very well. <laughs> he come on time. <laughs> yeah. It's not only that, but... And also, sometimes the plumber, you know? He say he come what time, what time? And then he came what time, what time? But then he, he say, okay, I cannot do it now. I just have a look. I come back later. And later he doesn't come back. And you call him, he don't answer. Tomorrow you call him again, he don't answer. The day after, he says, sorry, uh, can I come today <laughs> to, fix your, to fix your tap? <laughs> and so, of course, we say, sorry, we don't need you anymore. We call somebody else. Meanwhile, it's emergency. But they don't even answer you. They, they could uh, say, that, sorry, I don't have time today. I come tomorrow or please uh, next day. Or mm, They don't even answer. See? That's why they're so happy. They do what they want. <laughs> yeah. Many times I come to shop, not big shop like supermarket. Of course, they are very disciplined, and because many people work, they they have like schedule for employee, you know. But uh, if it's a small shop, self owner, just a couple of guys who work for some owner somewhere, then they just cross out the number three, like close from 12 to 3. Sometimes you come and you see the cross over there and don't say what afterward. Or sometimes they say five, and then you come five again, maybe cross again. <laughs> I don't know where. <laughs> ah, never mind. You go away, keep your job. Doesn't matter, it's just a theater. Okay? Keep my job? Yeah, the, the, the acting. The I thought you say the acting, you got one. Uh, I, I'm working on a script. Uh huh. But it's not, we need to find the, the money. For the okay, then oh, why don't you like work in an uh, income job and then do that as a hobby? Uh, most actresses and actors, they don't act all day. They don't just stay at home looking for job. they doing some job. You know, they drive taxi, they serve in the restaurant or waiting for, for the opportunity knock. And then they come have interview and maybe they got it big time or not and away sometimes many years, but it, it comes. <laughs>